Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about visual attention. What is really attention? That we need to stay focused on a particular thing. So what is being focused? Then we have to concentrate on a thing. Sometimes we have to concentrate for a certain duration. So if I want to do this maze, I need to be really focused so that I can do my task. But not only that, I also need to filter out because there is another maze present on the other page. There might be something happening outside. There might be sounds in my environment or somebody is calling me or my phone is ringing. So I need to filter all of that out in order to just focus that I have to finish this maze. Only after that, I can attend to other things. So that focus for a certain duration is what is visual attention. That does not really cover what is attention because sometimes if a child is trying to copy from a board, that requires something known as alternating attention. So you need to alternate between the board and the book where you are writing. Now that's not all because you need to filter out the noise that other mates might be making or the scribbling of their pencils or someone walking by the window or the door or even the fact that where was I writing or where was I on the board till what point have I written and after that I need to continue. So all of that is important in attention. It's not as simple as it sounds. When we talk about attention, the first aspect is also processing. So while attending to a thing, if you are taking in information, what does it really mean? So for example, I have this collection of books and I want, the teacher has told me, to find a particular book that requires me to do sorting activities. Okay, that's not it. That is the one. So what happens is I'm able to focus, filter out the rest and find the thing that I needed. After that, I have processed it, got in my mind that yes, it does include sorting kind of activities. So this is the book which is required. So in the class, if the maths teacher has come in and I need to look for my maths notebook in the bag, that also requires visual attention because I'll be looking for my name and the fact that it's a mathematics notebook. When we talk about attention, speed is also important. For example, my English class has just got over and now it's my math class. So within those five minutes that the English teacher has left and the maths teacher is about to come, I need to remember my timetable. Let's suppose my school people are good enough to put the timetable on the board or on some kind of chart paper on the wall so that I can actually check which is the next class. So for my maths class, I need to be ready for my notebook. I need to be ready at least with that and a pencil. From the previous book, of course. And once I've done that, my maths teacher will come and simply say, turn to page 5 and just start scribbling on the board. Okay, page 5. Done. I am ready to start. But what if I was just busy talking to my friends and I did not realize which was the next class. So visual attention is, once I am ready with my stuff, now I have all the time in the world to talk. So visual attention also requires this particular skill. Let me know how informative this video was, leave it in the comments below and we'll meet again.